So you wake up, do your bed, brush your teeth, and you start your day in lockdown. Maybe you find the lack of routine frustrating. Or maybe it's just that you miss people. You haven't had human interaction in a while. It might have been two weeks, it might be 30 days, depending on where you're listening to this. And work from home, although a great idea, just doesn't feel the same. Without a change in environment, this lack of routine is frustrating. You might feel like you lack purpose right now. And time is ticking and you might feel like you're stuck in a rut. And to top things off, scrolling through the endless pools of social media, TikTok, Instagram, you see everyone doing well, people becoming overnight celebrities, people buying their dream car or home, smashing their degrees, getting their promotion, just doing well in life while you seem to just be cruising through. And now, you feel like life is a little bit meaningless. If you can relate to even a single point from what I just described, you're not alone. Because there are times in lockdown where I felt like this, and I'm going to show you just how to get out of it and make the most out of your quarantine experience. Now this feeling of stasis, like you're not really going anywhere, you're stuck in a cycle. This is a feeling that a lot of people can empathize with right now. So in Sydney lockdown, lifeline calls have increased 27%. And on the 3rd of August, a record 3,345 cases were made. So regardless if you're feeling slightly down or really down, I'm going to show you the game plan for how you can get out of it. And if you're just here because you want some ideas on what to do in quarantine, I got you. draw or color, read a book, play video games, make or listen to music, buy a guitar or a piano and get your fingers cracking, go for a walk and expand your physical environment, watch your favorite movies and shows, download a language app like Duolingo, Zai. learn how to cook or improve your cooking, <laughs> start knitting, work out, Go for a run. Learn how to cut your hair. Start writing. Literally any ideas in your head. Upskill professionally. Code. Video edit. Learn consulting frameworks. Start a side hustle. Slip. You deserve it, Majesty. Puzzle. Bake. Meditate. Take a bubble bath. Plan your financial life. Call your loved ones. Call your grandparents. Dye your hair. Do some origami. Or maybe stretch. If you feel like you're in a rut or not achieving your goals in lockdown, try not to feel so guilty about it. One of the most important things to do is to pause, breathe, and be present with yourself. An abnormal response to an abnormal situation, such as being stuck at home, is completely normal. So it's fine to be okay with that. And especially in a productivity driven society where everyone's competing to make 1% improvements and optimizations to their life, it might feel counterintuitive to breathe, pause and take a break from the race. This is an investment into your future self, preventing burnout. And I promise you, they'll thank you a few days from now. So chill, watch shows, sleep, relax, listen to the music you like and take your time Give yourself a mental cleanse. And if you have any imminent stresses or decisions to make in your life, a useful thought process is to consider whether it's going to affect you five years from now. And if not, usually a couple of days is not going to cause any measurable change in the outcome. Put you first. Now, once you spend a few days chilling, doing the things you like, start focusing on the foundations. That's sleep, diet, and physical health. Science shows that you need about seven to nine hours of sleep to cleanse your brain of the plaque formation during the day. And this is gonna lengthen your life, make you happier and more energized during the day. And then focus on fixing your diet. Try to limit processed foods, saturated fats and sugars, and find healthy recipes for the things you like eating. Try cooking. And with exercise, set yourself an achievable timely goal. It could be never missing more than two days of running or lifting weights or body weight exercises at home, or even solo sport. And this is a great thought principle that I recently discovered, but we often conceive action as arising from a unique experience that then gives us motivation and spurs us to momentum and action. However, it's pretty Pretty liberating to realize that experience does not have to be the catalyst and sometimes it's action and it can be that a radical action doing something slightly different can give you the motivation 
and continue your action to achieve your goals. So maybe get outdoors, expand your physical environment and in doing so expand your mental state and increase your surface area to new experiences. And maybe consider cleaning your surrounding environment too. This can often create momentum to begin action and further inspiration to do things that you like. Try cooking for your healthy meals. Consider putting pen to paper and drawing or painting if you find that therapeutic or something you really like doing and maybe transport your mind to a different world through reading fiction books. Now, if you've taken your time, done the things you liked, focus on your pillars of your health, however, you still feel like you're in a rut, maybe you do have an indicator of poor mood and that's completely fine. Now, if you feel generally sad or you've lost interest in the things you generally like for a period of about more than 14 days and you've noticed change sleep, diet, and just a fog around your head that's slowing your physical activity as well, then you may be exhibiting symptoms of depression. And in that case, it's so important that you reach out to a helpline. And I can tell you from personal experience, even if you aren't feeling like you're in a rut, talking to someone and reflecting on yourself externally and putting your ideas and goals out there into the material world really clears up the mental clutter. Y'all got this. I'm gonna add a couple of helplines in the description if you ever need anything. Now, once you feel like you've got the cement to your house stabilized and all your pillars are set up right and you feel good and you're ready to make action and achieve your goals, start by planning ahead and planning early. Get up a to-do list and plan your day the night before. Get adequate rest. Maybe amp up that music and play your favorite songs. Get in the zone. Now, if you can't think of any tangible goals you want to achieve, you might want to break your life down for yourself. Consider writing up and spending time to create an ikigai. This is a westernized version of it. This pretty much involves a Venn diagram of the things that you like, the things that you're good at, and the things that society might pay you for. And if you're still stuck, consider finding something that hits your mental state, your physical state, your creative mind, and your general hobbies. Your goals could be as small as learning how to knit or as large as starting your own company all up to you or maybe a knitting company and remember each goal is equally as important based on the value that it provides you and big tip to achieve your goals try forcing external accountability that involves transferring your accountability to someone else and that allows you to do the things that you like even on days when you might not feel motivated motivation is overrated so maybe have a daily zoom call where you and your friend work through a common project or have an accountability buddy whether it be your partner or your close friend where you study together maybe you quiz each other and maybe you have a weekly meeting where you reflect on the things that you did what i do is i hop in a study call with all of my students and i live stream my work and that forces you guys to keep me accountable now the most important part if you forget everything else in the video is to just start now one of the most high value videos on youtube is Stephen Dunya's TED Talk, How to Achieve Your Most Ambitious Goals. Now the stuff that guy's done is crazy, but the key principle of the video is that rather than thinking about your large goals, thinking about the next small step that you might have to do to achieve them. So instead of thinking about exercising for an hour, just aim to put on your shoes. Or if you wanna get work done, just aim to sit at your desk and look at your laptop and maybe write one sentence. And what this does is it gets the hardest part of friction out of the way, which is starting. Give it a go and tell me how you find it. Dedicate all of your energy towards that one small step and make sure you celebrate those wins and reward yourself. Put yourself first, king or queen. You deserve celebrating small wins. Maybe you got a study sesh down after a long rut. And for that, celebrate, watch a show, eat something you like, have a snack. And this reinforces your primitive neural networks and gives you the same dopamine that you'd get doing any other reward task. And this consolidates that behavior as a positive one subconscious mind games and if you feel like a rut is approaching stay dynamic and if nothing works get your music get some comfy clothes go outside in the sun just rest appreciate the air the environment the outside change your scenery maybe that action will spur you to generate some inspiration and achieve your goals so guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. I wanted to make something where if I was in a rut in future, I could simply go back, watch it and learn the key principles and try applying it. I'd love to know what you guys are doing to stay sane in lockdown. So comment that down below and let me know what new thing you're going to try out during lockdown now after this video. Catch you next video. We out. I'm fat.